let's say you've got a new skill that you'd like to offer as part of your business and you want to start practicing with your friends and your family. Great idea for those who are willing to let you practice on them. <laughs> they're, very, they're very supportive. Um, and really, I mean, if you have some credibility with your social media audience, uh, you could probably just put something out there on social media and say, hey, I've got this new modality I'm trying out, or I'm, I've got this new method that I'm going to start using with clients. But before I start charging for it, I'd like to just offer to you, those of you who want to be guinea pigs for free, and uh, feel free to sign up here. You might get a couple of people who sign up. And the great question here is, how do I know I've practiced enough and it's time to start charging for it? So it's a matter of, um, I mean, it's it, right. I think, I think it's a matter of your own sense of confidence. It's like this balance between confidence and like boldness in business. Uh, the more experience you have in business, uh, you know, the more you, you experience receiving money from people for things, the more bold you get. And oftentimes, I just sell something that's completely brand new. Now, nowadays, I have a method around it, which is that I, I do a free to attend paid recording webinar. And that's kind of how I test out new things. Um, I also have an affiliate community, basically a community of supporters where I might do a beta class test, like a like beta class for me is one session. I teach, I teach something brand new, like uh, just one session, just blah, trying out new ideas and seeing uh, if, if people, you know, if have any questions or respond to that. So, so I just do one trial session and then I start selling it. That's how bold I've become because while well, I've got, I've got enough experience doing this where I'm like, yeah, I think people will pay for it. And yeah, I think people will be satisfied enough. I've said, and I've said before that, you know, uh, whatever it is you're thinking about trying out, I bet you already have more experience than the people who are going to buy from you because you've just been thinking about it more, you know, and I bet if I give you one hour to prep, you will satisfy them. That's what I'm willing to bet. Okay. Um, now the confidence part is, so like I said, it's a balance. Um, if you haven't had as much experience receiving money for services in your business, you probably aren't as bold to say, I'm going to just sell something that's relatively new. I have no, no effing clue how to really do this, but I'm just going to sell it anyway. Um, it takes guts and your marketing might feel a little inauthentic, uh, especially if you use traditional marketing tactics, like you know, you're making promises to the moon and you are... Um, guaranteeing results or whatever ridiculous things people do, you know, have done for millennia. I don't notice in my sales pages. I never promise results. I only promise the process. I only promise you what the, you're going to get this many calls and you're going to, we're going to talk about these things. I just, we're going to talk about them. I don't know if you're going to understand anything, but we're, we'll certainly talk about them. <laughs> you know, you'll cer we'll certainly cover these topics. No idea if my communication is, completely uh you know without skill and you don't understand anything and that's that i'm not promising that you'll get anything out of it i'm promising that i'll do something about it i'll try so that's all of my sales pages like that you go ahead and take a look if you if you actually see some results promise please let me know and i gotta edit that out okay so um i'm just gonna say please be more bold than Oh, I mean, I just not please, but being bold necessarily means I'm going to just effing go for it. I'm just going to take the risk and sell it and see what happens. Now, if you can try it out on some friends and family in exchange for feedback and specifically say that, say, listen, I'm going to charge for this. But for those of you who are willing to give me feedback for the next 30 days, uh, you can sign up without you know, instead of paying 150 per session or hundred dollars per session, whatever you can, you can, yeah, exactly. So give me feedback and the feedback will either be, or both, Hey, um, I, I feel like this part could probably be better, or I, I didn't really understand that part. And you're going to get some praise. You're going to say, you know what? I really liked when you did that. I really like that aspect of it. And if they say that you can basically reword what they said, in a more testimonial kind of sounding kind of way and email them and says, hey, uh, can I use this as a testimonial? I, I don't need to use your name. 
can I use your name if you're, if you're okay with that? But if, if you're not okay, let me just say something generic about you. Mother of two from Kansas, um, you know, financial advisor for Fortune 500 companies. I don't know if they have those kinds of things, but um, they're not called financial advisors, I guess. But anyway, but yeah, you could, you could say generic things and they'll, they'll never, no one will ever be able to find out who that testimony came from, but it's a real testimony. So hope that helps.